Welcome and happy Mother's Day. If you're a mom watching this right now, I can't thank you enough for spending this time with me. If I could, I'd definitely hit your like button. Whether you're celebrating today with your mom, mother-in-law, godmother, wife, baby's mama, grandmother, or mother's boyfriend, there's a million reasons to give thanks and celebrate the special mom in our lives today. Now, the most important woman in my life, you might have guessed, is of course my stepmom. She's the one who enabled my passion for cars and makes all my projects possible. Let's get started. Get the, uh, the ratchet, the sockets, what other tools do we need? Well, Sam, the only other tool we need is you. Well, thanks, Mom. On this special day, I plan on servicing her. Car, to show her how much I care. Drop me a comment to let me know what you're doing for your special mother figure. And guys, if you haven't done anything yet, no worries. It's never too late to show her how much you care by giving yourself the gift of the brand new Lawnmower 4.0. Manscaped's latest and greatest, the Lawnmower 4.0 has a 7,000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. So you can primp your Peugeot as if you're really preparing a Porsche. And with battery life up to 90 minutes and a super bright LED, I can still shave during the months I forget to pay my light bill and not worry about nicking my New York Knicks. If you've made it this far, I know you have a pair and likely a really strong one. I know you'd benefit greatly from a lawnmower 4.0. So head on over to manscaped.com or just click the link in the description box and make sure you use code SAMCRACK at checkout. That's going to get you 20% off one of these bad boys. And as always, Manscaped offers free shipping and free return shipping. So if for some reason you're not satisfied with this, you can return it. And in the box, you can return a bird's nest with it. They're not going to ask any questions. Now, I got to give a huge thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. And let's head on over to the salvage auction. Right off the bat, is this a turbo? It sure looks like it. Yeah, it says turbo. And those wheels, man, what a, what a great color. They're kind of like... Almost a lighter bronze. This is a 997. What is this? 9972? 9971. And it looks great. I'm here with Turbo Mike. How's it going? Turbo Mike, look, this is what always happens, all right? You see the car from this angle, all right? It looks perfect. Yeah. But what what do you see right here? We have I see the side airbag deployed. This, and I see the some kind of diffuser there. Exactly. So, well, no, this is this is the air intake from the opposite side, obviously. So if we come around, see what we got. Oh man, I wanted to love this. Yeah, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to love this so bad. These cars are incredible. And what do we have in here? So this is a um, Tiptronic, Tiptronic transmission. So the the it's less desirable. She can't say that. You can't. <laughs> no, but look at. I mean, it's shredded so hard on the side. You can actually see. Is that the window actuator or motor right there? like it's probably cables cable oh man so this is gnarly i mean okay the the fender actually is pretty good it's the door and the quarter man and then behind there that unibody's got to be pushed and what's it look like in the interior tough to see really i would have to imagine it pushed the whole wheel well in and everything i mean this is a lot a lot of work v tune could fix it i know that but me this is this is a tough one such a beautiful car though man look at how it just the impact here pushes everything kinks it all up here it is a this is a really nice shade of black with a really nice metallic in it too can you tell what this is just by looking at the front end here i'll give you a little bit more of a view here this is an s class and it has a set of amg wheels but it does not have a big set of brakes so i'm guessing that this is probably just a standard v8 s class and let's take a look yes an s550 that's been destroyed and just looking at kind of the overall condition this car's got a little bit of a story to tell first of all if you look at the texture specifically right here on this quarter panel this has been repainted if you look kind of up here where it's it's a bit dingy this is the roof so more exposure to the sun and then this looks pretty normal but this looks all redone and a bit textured so who knows if this is this car's first trip to a salvage auction it could be its second uh and recently there was a bmw that my friend alex from legit street cars he went and looked at it was a three time total so while it's rare you might find a couple time total out here all right mike what do we have this is, wow, this is mash, man. This is mash. This is a Jag, but this is not an F-Type. This is an XK. Yep. Yeah, is it an XKR? No, it's only XK. See, I actually really, really like these cars. It's been a long time since I've owned a Jaguar. I had probably one of the worst ones, an S-Type. It was an R, not my favorite. 
but I'm starting to get into Jags. This one is just, whoo. It's because you're getting older. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. All right, we're gonna cut that part out of the video. <laughs> this one is mashed, but seriously, a nice XKR um, with the new 500 plus supercharged engine or an XKRS, that would be epic. But just look at this. This is nasty. I mean, the wheel. It's interesting where stuff ends up. Like there's the ABS module. I wonder if that's where it normally is. Oh, well, it's probably, they, they do put weird things in weird places on British cars, but yeah, I mean, everything is just, just destroyed, man. Now, normally I'd walk right past something like this. Mike gravitated right towards it. What is this exactly? I know it's a Nissan, but. It's, uh, I think a Z31, uh, 300ZX. Okay, what does that mean? Is it twin turbo? Is it? Uh, they make a twin, they made a twin turbo model. Um, it's what, it's really interesting about these cars because there's always a select type of people that drive them and they love them. They don't make a lot of power. They're fun to drive, they're real drive, but they don't make a lot of power. What interested me in them a lot is everyone's kind of gobbled up the two all the 240s and having like an old 90s Nissan has always been fun, like a real drive, like kind of like a tuner car. Um, but. Uh, like I can, I can see a lot of things. I'm because uh, I had a couple, a couple friends that had this car and a couple of them. There's a lot. Of, like this is perfect. Like this, that's money right there. People want that. Also these, <clears throat> the T tops people want, but they're broken. Uh, there's these guards. There's these things. There's tubes in here to drain the water up top from the T tops. Doesn't leak inside the car. Typically these little panel things get broken because your passenger puts the window down and they'll yank it down on them. And manual's nice. I see this strange little badge in there. Yeah, there's like a that. plaque on the dash. It's a Z. It, it yeah, we'll leave it taped up. It's really nice taped off. And especially, oh, we've been getting some rain. Side. The controls for the driver oh, are I'm not going that way. I'm not going that way. Um, the controls for the driver are kind of interesting. And I, I don't really see this copy in a lot of cars. They have it literally right on top of the steering wheel. And then it's on, on yeah, the other side. Yeah, I see it. Dude, um, that, the Corvette, the old like C4 they used to do yeah, that. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. Those brake all the time on this car <laughs> so when people see like these i always see people wanting parts for them and everything all the time the headlights are great i like the color um but it's, it's yeah it's this rough. has got some problems it's rough. too much work now something that i know sells dirt cheap and can be fun and i don't know anything about right here sob yeah, like some of them had manual transmissions actually a fair amount of them so it's not super rare to find a manual most of them though had an automatic this one's got an automatic and it is a turbo, but you can modify them. But there's one Saab, what is it? A 9.3 Aero Wagon. Oh, yeah. It's basically a Subaru WRX. Yeah, I heard that. They've got the Saabaru. And Saabaru. He's, so look for those, a, a 9.3 Aero Wagon. I see them all the time at auction. Uh, the ones up north generally get rusted out really bad, but it's the best way to buy a budget WRX. It's literally the same exact car, except it's got a Saab. Well, I almost just sunk into the quick stand. <laughs> it's, it's the same exact thing, uh, but it's got that, you know, it's got that Saab refinement. It's not a bad <laughs> car. One problem I know about these cars, the little experience I have, is this loves to fail all the time. I don't know how many people I've seen at Advanced Auto Parts are trying to leave and they're sitting there. Turn the key, because look where it's What at. is it? Oh, the key, the ignition yeah. is down in the center. So you put your cold drink here, you pick up to drink it, you drag moisture that can migrate down in there. If you haven't figured it out yet, Mike works at the uh, auto parts store, that's why he keeps referencing it. But wait, 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 I know you want to look at the Porsche. No, I but what, look at this, look at this. Audi. There's X's. Oh, where's the Audi? Right there. All right, we'll forget the Audi for a second. Oh. What is all these X's? Are these dents? Uh, this is where I guess they spot damage and mark. Oh, look, so like a little dense. But I don't see, this is really weird. And then there's an arrow to something. So it's this, like a map. X, but it's pointing down here somewhere. Or like, wow, where did this car go? Oh, look at this. Hold on, what's the front end look like? Again, we got to get all the angles yeah. so we tell the full story replace, here. Replace, replace, replace. Replace? This is really strange. Headlight faded? So this is an insurance company car because I could see the seller's name on it. And really, someone was very thorough. I mean, I'm guessing that you're talking about like these little X's, there's probably little chips everywhere and scratches. It's very tough to see. This car would definitely benefit from a polish. Um, it's just a Jeep Patriot. What else are we gonna say about it? I just find, it looks like a treasure map where the X marks a spot all over it. That's, that's why I'm very interested. All right, off to that Audi from here. That's a great angle of that car. And, and sometimes you get lucky, 
you might find a V10 under the hood of that car, but no, I see the supercharged badge. Supercharged means it's a V6. A6, what this car is. Yeah, it's an A6, but it's a V6 with the supercharger. These cars are very moddable. You can get into the 11 seconds in the quarter mile with them. Look at that damage though. Uh, you say that, so this is, no, this is pretty intense. The apron is definitely, see how it's pushed down right here? It appears that you could rip that fender off, but even the door, oh man, in the rear door. But they didn't hit the quarter panel. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice, but uh, see, I'm obviously discouraged when it comes to body damage. I've had my fair share of body damage. I still have stuff that needs to be finished with body damage. Yeah. When I see this much, it's like, all right, I got enough work. But the apron's your major issue here. You can work with the door. You can definitely work with the fender. But this apron, the way it's sitting and definitely pushed down a little bit, you need that pulled and put in the right place. Really, you should have it replaced um, to get everything to line up perfectly. But these cars are sleepers. Again, like a basic A6 that they sold, but with the supercharger. Oh, yep, not gonna open. Um, <laughs> with the supercharger, with the front end off the car while you're rebuilding it. I've looked at these a little bit. You take that front end off, you have access to the supercharger snout, you just change the pulley out, you tune it. 11, high 11s in the quarter mile, makes this like a really nice luxury sports sedan. And this catches my attention, but you guys remember this car? What did I just tell you? You didn't hear what I said? I didn't hear what you I said. I said, when we saw this car, Rich and I were here ah, about a month ago. We saw the same exact car and there was a box of chicken nuggets <laughs> in the back. And let's see, look, they're still there. Are there any Don't there? No, no, don't touch it. The lot etiquette is you don't touch anything in the car. It's not your car. See, the GTI we could touch because we bought it. Okay. But this, well, well, some of the well you're just going to have to go back and watch my video to find out whether they're in there because Rich opened up, but he didn't touch it. He got a stick. Here, I'll play the clip. Rich, Sam, I just need to know right now, Sam. Rich, if there's a nugget in there, it's gonna be perfectly preserved. <laughs> it, it, there's I, there's something, something in there. there. What the, why is it so difficult? <laughs> no, it's empty, man. It's empty, yeah. Well, you're not supposed to manipulate anything in the car. Mike, so I, I just played the clip. Go back and watch this video, and you're gonna find out if there's any chicken nuggets in that box. <laughs> You're dying to know, right? Well, no, it's not It's not too bad. What do you mean it's not too bad? The car is torched, yeah, it's done. Got this Mercedes-Benz part that's in here. There is a Mercedes-Benz part. And what is this car? This is an it's Infinity. A, uh, FX? Yeah, that happens sometimes. Is there a Mercedes? Okay, look. This is beautiful. Performance pack, look at those huge front calipers. I mean, you gotta give credit to Ford. This is a 5.0 Mustang GT. Beautiful metallic tri-stage paint and unfortunately it is destroyed in that rear end but these cars come with so many features on them stock now and they're really reasonable these are the, the real deal sports cars that can be afforded by a lot of people so again kudos to ford i love the mustang i obviously have a mustang so i'm biased but this one especially the paint color is just beautiful this is an interesting car here the BMW? Uh, no, the, the green car here. <laughs> What's interesting? It's the most uninteresting car in this lot. It's a, this, it's a Toyota, right? This car was so great, everyone had to make it. Because look. This is a Toyota Corolla, man, from like the what, 90s? Chevy made this. This, this is, is a Chevy? America. No, this is a, I, is this a Toyota or is it a, is this? It's a Chevy. Hold on. <laughs> Let yeah, me see. Made in, I think the USA. A Prism? I thought the Geo made a Prism. Uh, yeah, I thought, well, Geo is part of Chevy. What do you mean Geo is part of Chevy? Or Ch Chevy. Hold on, hold on. This yeah, is but... now, this has now become a very interesting car. But yeah. Now, the gauges are very Chevy, the steering wheel. Corolla. No, that that shifter is straight out of a Toyota, man. Yeah. The These seats are straight out of, look at the door. This is a Toyota. All the door handles are broken, just like a Corolla. <laughs> <laughs> Are they all broken? Well, Dude, the, the ones that one's side. good. That one's messed up. But yeah, this is um. So this is like a Toyota Corolla that every other auto manufacturer yeah. just knocked off. Okay, yeah. I didn't say knock off. They took the blueprints for it and then they made it their own. The Chevy engine. Dude, eighty-two thousand miles on a Toyota. This is good for what? Another. Another three hundred. Yeah. Hold on. Let's pop this. Dude, this car's on. It's been running for. I'm gonna shut that off because, you know, we don't need to kill the battery. It's a Yoda. Is it? Yeah. 
It has a VVTi engine in it. <laughs> This is all Toyota with a Geo name and an American manufacturer. Very strange. And Mike, I give it to you. This is one of the more interesting cars on the lot. But old BMWs, man. Is it even worth looking at these? I, I like to try and make the case because they sell so cheap, right? 230,000 miles. Okay, if it's one of their inline sixes, it might be worth it. The V8s are usually trouble. Yeah, 528. So basic engine let's see what we got going on here okay really again this is like one of these cars somebody had it and they used it and it's not bad this though looks out of place that shifter it's got the the german crayon smell mm. you know what i noticed is that your gti doesn't even smell like the crayons that was more a mark four is great that gti man you you hit the you hit the jackpot yeah i mean this is like a nice bmw but what's damaged on it? Just old, mechanically damaged? All right, here's the question, 230,000 miles. There's nothing on it. Does it start? What do you say? Um, I say it makes a noise. Makes a noise? Yeah. Well, it's, an, it's a ICE I car. relay's clicking, not... not I think it's gonna start. Let's High see. mileage, BMW, someone maintained this car. It's pretty clean on the inside. All right, we're gonna pop it. We're gonna start it. See, you can get these cars for like nothing. Oh, it's nice under here. And it's look a little bit, a little bit of dust, right? I wonder if this hood was ever open because these are so shot. Yeah, this is this is kind of clean, Mike. Kind of yeah. clean. Is that a good thing? Or or right, hold this up. Yeah. We're gonna start it up. I'm telling you, I think it's gonna start. It might have a dead battery, but I think it's gonna start. Right, here we go. Key. It's kind of like in an awkward position. Got to get it around. Here we go. All right. Key. The ignition. Battery's dead. Battery's dead. Well, we're going to have to keep that a mystery. Kind of like the chicken nuggets. Mike, did you go back in the video and watch whether there were chicken nuggets in that box? Uh, I'm saving battery life on my phone. Okay. Dude, check this out. Dual motor Tesla Model 3 just smashed pretty hard on the side here. So we're missing a door, but... Let's see here, just looking through the blue. Not too bad, this is smashed in. Rich would like this. One thing about Rich is he's very uh, crafty. You know, he uses kitchen knives to rebuild these cars and stuff. He'd figure out whether this is something you just pull apart or rebuild. I think he'd rebuild this. It doesn't look like the structure's too mashed. Here, I'm, why am I walking so, this is where it's bad. The pillar is what I'm questioning the most. So Jeez, look how immaculate it is. What I really wanna see is this pillar. Man, the pillar looks straight from in here. Nice, nice car, and look at this white interior. Let me know what you guys think about the white interior in the comment section below. It looks phenomenal. I would just hate to be the guy that owns What's it wrong? because- running on this car now. Well, yeah, when you open the door, it kicks the AC on. Oh, okay. To make you, you know, cooler. And as a matter of fact, these cars, if you set it, you set it all through that like tablet on the oh. front, it will kick the AC on, even like if it's just parked in a parking lot. These things are really I'm, I'm technologically advanced. Top of this right here top of what? Is this the top of the bat? Well, the battery, you know, goes underneath the car, but what is this the top of? If I had to guess, I mean, what it, what it looks like to me is a gas tank, but anyway. It's not a gas tank. It probably is the top of the battery casing. See those high voltage wires in orange right there? Yeah, the ones I'm banging on? Yeah, don't... Did that help you determine what this was by giving him a little tap? This is actually a car that looks past the rebuild state, but I bet you it's not half bad. Dual motor, which means this was a lot of money new, probably over 60 grand. And if you look, so they've cut this section of the quarter out, but none of this is pushed in. You know, if this was a really heavy accident, you'd see the wheel all bashed. You'd see this unibody all pushed in. This is all fairly straight. And then we saw the pillar from the inside. This door is trash, so you'd want to get a new one of those. Um, really, really pretty nice Model 3 and it's kind of strange how they option these cars i don't understand them a hundred percent but i'd imagine with the dual motor this is a pretty specked out car are these cars like optioned like yachts is that how it works they just build them however it's the opposite of a yacht everything is like your options all are digital so if you want like autopilot you pay to have the software enabled okay so it's on the car like you see that camera right there you yeah. see there's two cameras right there uh -huh. and then there's probably there's definitely cameras in the mirrors i think there's cameras everywhere. Yeah, I, I, well, I saw this one in the, the B pillar. Right? Yeah, there's a camera in the B pillar. That's probably where our, there's, so there's no camera in the middle. There's camera in the B pillar. 
Tesla's always watching you. Not only are they doing that, they know, like when this car drives into a service center and this is salvage, uh -huh. they know, hey, bing, 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 this salvage Tesla just drove in our service center. Be careful. It's the wow. blue one that likely Rich is driving. <laughs> Every time I see one of these Wranglers, I wonder, did it roll or did it not? This one is too strange. Um, the side here looks good. I don't see anything super off on the roof of the pillars, but you got a smash windshield. You got this side. It looks like it tumbled, but maybe it just got hit really hard on the side. And last time I did a video, I showed you two 7 Series. These things sell super cheap, and I was warned by you guys that you don't want to mess around with this generation V8 7 Series. So if we look inside here, this one has actually... Is this the same color as the one we saw last time? Look, and it's an M Sport. Ugh, you guys are telling me, don't mess with this car. Look how beautiful the interior it's, is, Mike. It's really nice. I just don't, I'm not particularly a fan of BMW. Oh, but this one, it's got the Little Trees air freshener, so of course it smells great. And look, look at the, the, look at the headrest. That's like an anti-collision thing, isn't it? When it pops out like that? Oh, I've never, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, so that pushes your head forward so you like don't get whiplash. Or maybe it's the opposite. You see your well, head, your head goes like this forward, and, and it doesn't slam back. Pit, so, so like I think that is collision. But is there any damage on it on that side? Let's see here. Maybe this car rolled up over something. Seven fifty i. This is a nice one, man. It's got a little bit of bumper damage going on here. Now I say that it doesn't look like it's anything but dirt. But like, look. Explosives that employ that headrest. Look, this is missing. This is all chewed up like it was touched up quickly. Whew, gotta look into this one. That interior is just beautiful. 100,000 miles. Gotta love the M Sport. Man, the interior in this one. Super slick. And is it dead? Probably. You're in the wrong car. It's dead. Uh -oh. This is not the baller car. What is it? The, the one behind us? Over here. Okay, hold on. Well, there's a Lexus next to us. That's pretty baller. These things sell for a lot of money. Oh, what is this? It's a Cadillac. I think it's an Eldorado, but I don't know if they made an Eldorado look like it. I like the seats a lot. The seats are really, really cool. Hold on, we're going to get closer so you can see the seats. This is outrageous. I don't know what Cadillac this is. I just, it's 50s because 50s, they were obsessed with jets. And these fins are always pretty cool. Yeah, this is a like, yeah, it looks like maybe a, in, I don't know if it's a restoration. Look, this has definitely all been restored. Yeah. It's in really good shape. I See, love these this this convertible top. seats. That's why you need so much space here. Because the convertible top will just come back and sit. It's weird how they retract. They wow. It's got this wild color. To be honest, the paint is uh it's a little bit rough as far as the job goes. It's complete, but this was not like a uh, really full-on restoration. I'd imagine this car restored is worth a decent amount of money. It's, it's, look how gigantic, look, it's huge. Okay, there's a Yukon right <laughs> here, and this is longer. Look at this, we're gonna go in between. The Yukon is longer, or excuse me, the Cadillac is longer than the Yukon. This thing is really neat. Good find, Mike. This would be very, this is very desirable, I think, now, because a lot of guys, they want something cool, but not something everyone drives, and they want to take it and enjoy the family. With it. Yeah, four door Chevrolet Bel Air. Look at this. Like green, man. Green Again, is what is going on with these these classics today? This is the first time I've seen two basically restored classics at the salvage auction in like really Again, halfway decent condition. This is something that is not going to sell for a ton because it's not a perfect restoration, but boy, does it have character. Now, is this a Bel Air? It says Gibson down oh, here. Oh, it says right here, Bel Air. Oh, look, it says Bel Air on the dashboard too, Bel yeah. Air. Yeah, Bel Air. Look at this. Look at this hood ornament. You got the Concorde right on your hood. Wow. You, they don't do this anymore because if you were a pedestrian and it hits you, you get impaled by this. Yeah, thing. I remember that. This is just incredible that it's out here at a salvage auction. We've seen some pretty crazy stuff. And look, what's next to it is kind of crazy. We'll get to it in a second, but I'm just kind of marveling at uh, the fact that we've seen not one, but two really unique classics here today. Now, why is this random Tahoe interesting? It's because it's a Tahoe hybrid. Now, uh, these cars came out in like the late 2000s, 2007, 8, 9. Uh, maybe they made them a little bit later, 10. This 
is a car that got 20 miles per gallon for a gigantic SUV that normally got 12 or 13. And it did so with a hybrid drive unit and batteries. The problem is when you get to this age and you get to 150,000 miles, if the uh, batteries haven't been swapped out yet, it's a fortune to replace like every other hybrid. And then by the time you fix this thing, well, it's a mechanical total and it's just like every other hybrid. It sounds good up front. And then the cost savings, even when gas was three plus dollars a gallon on average, uh, didn't equate to you replacing a hybrid battery or any other components that went into fixing this car because these did have, if I remember, a valve issue in the V8 engine or a valve spring issue. Something again mechanically could go wrong. So even though this was really cool when it came out, it was always a smarter decision to buy the LS-based Chevrolet trucks. The most boring sports car ever produced, Mike, the SC430. Sorry if you own one of these, it's very boring. However, it's also very reliable. Right. LS430 engine in here, 4.3 liter V8. That's like known to be totally indestructible. 57,000 miles, super low. I've seen one of these heavily modded. What really can you dirty. modify on it? The look, the look. Look, okay. The look, it looked really good. It looked really mean, but I was just kind of like, why? It's kind of deal. That's a good question. Why? I mean, yeah, again. I'll ask you a question. What is that device? That looks like a, a gun holder, no? Or what does that say? Multi-lock. Yeah, that looks like a gun holder. It probably locks a holster. Yeah. So that is uh, a really nice condition on this side, but what's wrong with this car? It's Nothing. SC430. That's that right there. You got it. It's an SC430. I've been wanting another Range Rover, but a more modern Range Rover so bad. And look at this one. Is this the long wheelbase one? It looks beautiful in this white color. I do see a little bit of damage back here. Doesn't look too bad. These cars are the business, man. So, pushed in here on the door, but let's see what happens when you open it up. That's ah, just the door. It's a P525? Yeah. Let's see here. Is that like souped up motor or something? You know, I'm not sure what a P525 is. Usually when it says HSE, it's a standard V8 engine out of a Jaguar, if I remember correctly. And this one is immaculate. So it's got three screens on it. One here, one here, and then this is all digital. Foot on the brake and the push to start is this little guy up here. Wow. Runs phenomenal. Oh man, put it on the watch list. This one is really nice. Now what is, this is beautiful, man. I, something, something has to be with that damage over there. That, that damage was so intense. It doesn't look that bad. So that runs beautifully. Now what's strange is some of these Range Rovers, they have like electric sideboards and you think for one that's this beautifully specced, have that. But educate me, what is a P525? P525, I, I really like don't know. Alpina, like uh, for BMW? No, that's Alpina. Alpina. Okay, so here's a trick. This usually works. V, the letter V in Range Rover, that's where your button is. That doesn't work on this one. <laughs> on the older ones where the V is, that's oh, where so your hood release is. Wised up, but it belongs. Oh look, this is supercharged. Yeah. Now, super clean under here. but I'm wondering, is this a supercharged V6? Or V8. I'm not sure what this is. Pull this off, I can tell you. I look like an idiot. You know, they've changed these cars so 5 .0 much. 5.0 liter, so that could be V8? No, it's, if it's a 5 liter, this is a supercharged Jaguar V8. Okay. And it's a 5 liter, they got about 500, and let's put that 525, it's probably 525 horsepower. Oh, cool. They've There's been that. using this same engine now, though, since like 2010. So, you might not get those interior niceties in an older one, but you can get a Jaguar-based Range Rover that probably drives darn similar to this and just doesn't look as sharp. I mean, look at these awesome seats. They do the interior in these cars up perfectly for a fraction of what this will sell for. Now, mind you, this is a different car. This is beautiful. I love this, but it's going to sell for a lot of money just because... I'm saying 60? I would say probably, it depends on the year. Maybe even more. New, these cars are all six figures, right? For the most part, well, this door is no big deal. The soft close. Does it have soft close? Yeah. Yeah, nice car. I like 
their attention to easily crazy. Like, this Look is how just clean a post. this is. It's just a battery post and it had to have a lid. So we've walked through quite a few cars. Zach, here's a Beetle for you. My friend Zach is always looking for a good deal on a new Beetle. And who? why is that truck sitting like that? Let's see. Oh, well, there's a tire and wheel in the bed, which means that there's no tire and wheel on the front corner. Right there, I see an E-Class station wagon. Super rare to find these. This one is not an AMG. Just can tell right off the bat because of the wheels. And it is old man tan, but it is an E-Class station wagon that was totaled out. Again, the owners of these cars are usually either like dog owners and there's dog slobber in the back or they're enthusiasts so the interior condition is impeccable. This looks to be a really clean, nicely kept car. This is just a great driver. What's wrong with it? E350, 4Matic. Oh, and check it out. Look, it has the rear, rear bench seat. What is wrong with this thing? Let's see here. Lost type unknown. Okay, this is one of those ones. We got to watch. This could be a really nice ride. It is sitting low in the back corner there. So maybe air suspension, maybe it rode up over something under undercarriage. Wow, really a, a nice, nice clean station wagon E-Class. It smells like chicken nuggets and crayons in here. If you don't get the crayon reference, that's what all old German cars smell like. And it smells a little bit like the beach. Got a lot of smells going on in here, but no no nefarious smells it's all uh it's all very mercedes-benz-esque i'm really kind of getting into the wholesale cars again the higher mileage cars especially if it's kind of like scott's bmw the bmw 335i that uh he meticulously maintained but it's got really high miles they don't tend to sell for a lot they could be really good values and you could have a lot of fun repairing them fixing them yourself and it's very gratifying but also, something like this Porsche is very gratifying. We know what the story is. First of all, it's got a set of really large wheels on it. Those are aftermarket with Porsche center caps. This is a another dealer or wholesale car. High miles, 101,000. And is it a 911 S? It's not a 911 Turbo. Yes, it's a Carrera S. This is a sharp car. The second question, is it a stick? And well, yes, it is. Now, in the interior here, the one thing I notice is that the seat is very worn, but it's not just worn, it's almost like it's splotchy, like it got wet at one time and they cleaned it off. That's not particularly a good sign. Otherwise, everything else in the interior is pretty nice. You gotta remember, it's got over 100,000 miles on it, but Porsches are known for really high quality and great build materials. Let's see what happens when we flip the key. Yeah, no power to anything in this car. It doesn't smell particularly fresh. Carpets uh, are dry and fairly clean. When you see this dirt in the driver's side area, remember, the, we're at the auction, it's dirty. People get in, people test these things out once in a while. So that's not uncommon. Nice car. Before I would bid on it though, I have to hear it run. The smaller the car, the quicker they total it. Fiat 500, a Barth. Uh, one of the things I don't like is that the fuse box was popped open uh, in the axe and of course it's been sitting out in the elements. Uh, so you're bound to have some strange electrical issues. Not like you wouldn't have them already with an Italian car. But otherwise somebody took reasonably good care of this car. Got a manual transmission. It smells pretty good. Blown bag. Now these small cars always look like they're really rough. Most times it's because they are pretty rough, but everything happened a little bit higher up on this one. You see, it took the hood all the way up here. This is really the most questionable thing to me. I think if you could clean this up, probably replace it, run the wires to it, and then get a whole new front core support that looks like, let's see here, like it's a bolt-on component. You got to fix this a little bit. This isn't the worst I've ever seen, but the apron is damaged a little bit on this side. It's also damaged on the opposite side. This is a car that will sell really, really cheap. And if you notice, it's got this aftermarket turbo pipe here. So it's probably been modified a bit. If you scoop it up for a couple grand or less, you could have a good project on your hands. And another one of these cars that looks impeccable from the front. We have no clue what's going on with it. It's a BMW 7, 740, 750. I can see from the brakes, it's got the M Sport package. I can also see the front camera. 
So this is a pretty specced out model. Again, being sold by the insurance company. This is a 2018. Oh, and it's just a five series, but oh my God, look at the interior. Check this thing out. Man, when did the five series get so big? This is a really nice size car and it's super clean, but check this out. I do see some wiring pulled out down there, which leads me to believe this is a flood. Again, I'm gonna pop up on the screen why this is a total loss. We see some paneling off as well. Let's check the carpets. A bit damp, damp carpets. But otherwise, this is an awesome, awesome car. Gotta put this on the watch list. This would make for an excellent daily driver here. That is bearing that the engine isn't locked up. So what'd you think about today's trip to the salvage auction? As always, I wanna know what you like to see when we go to the salvage auction so I know what to film next time. Or if you even like these styles of videos. If you do, be sure to hit the like button. Now the best car I saw today wasn't in this video and that's because I bought it. If you wanna see exactly what it is, well make sure you're subscribed because I'll be announcing it very soon. And of course, I wanna thank each and every one of you for tuning in today. I'll catch you very soon.